The Black Knife is a fantastic dagger we can obtain quite early in the base game as a reward for defeating the Black Knife Assassin boss fight in Altus Plateau. This unique weapon deals both physical and holy damage with a B scaling on dexterity and C on fate. Its unique skill, Blade of Death, allows the player to fire a projectile that has the same HP drain effect of the Black Bleed Incantation or Destined Death skill. Unlike in the base game, holy damage is no longer useless in the DLC. For that reason, in this video I'm going to show you the best way to build this weapon to reveal its true potential, and I will use it to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. Today we are going to use the black knife on plus 10 and any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. We need any weapon with the raptor optimist as war to easily dodge the radan's light explosion attack and any other difficult attack. If you want you can use another black knife to be able to use the power stance moveset of the dagger weapon class. It's very useful with the successive attacks buffs. We are going to be rocking 3 pieces of the rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 6% and we will combine it with the black dumpling for a 10% damage boost with Ditch Madness proc. The most effective talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Sacred Scorpion Charm, the H1 Exultation and the All Lords Talisman. If you want you can replace the H1 Exultation with the Kindred of Rods Exultation and the Black Dumpling with the Mushroom Crown. Poison it's easier to proc if you have the Rope Fated Pots. If you don't have these items the Madness Bobs will be better for you. Another good talisman is the Two Handed Sword Talisman. This one is going to work very good with the heavy attacks of this weapon class. In our Flask of Wonders physique we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Holy Shrouding Crack. Tier. But we can also use the Thorny Crack Tear, especially if we are going to use the Power Stance moveset of this weapon class. Sadly, as we are playing with daggers, our stance damage is not gonna be significant. That's why I'm going to use the Large Glintstone Scrap to help me with the stance damage, but you can also use any other weapon to help you with that task. This build consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. But in this case, it is completely optional. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on endurance, only 11 on strength, we don't need more, 68 on dexterity, and 68 on faith. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. We are going to use the Blessing of the Earth Tree to counter the HP drain effect of the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. And to build up madness quickly, we will use Midras Frenzied Flame. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Blessing on the level 20. And if you want to deal the max amount of damage I'll be dealing to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to cast Blessing of the Air Tree. Immediately after that you are going to use your Pickle Turtle Neck, then you are going to refill your FP and you are going to cast Midras Frenzied Flame until you are about to proc Madness. At this point you are going to refill your FP your HP and you're going to cast Hall of Shabriri. Once you proc Madness, refill your FP again, your HP again and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Take this. Oh, that's nice. Let's get the crit hit, baby. <laughs> no way. Please. Oh, say goodbye, bad boy. Oh, fantastic, baby. We did it. <laughs> Take that one. She's cornering me, bro. Or trying to, at least. She's crazy, indeed. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> 
Let's go! <laughs> Here we go, guys. That's so good. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on. Why? This guy's hard. Okay, come on, let's do this, guys. Four times. That's nice. Why am I getting closer, bro? You have to... Come on. I didn't stop it. Oh my god, what's going on with me, bro? Check this. Nice. That's a very good amount of damage. I'm gonna take the risk. Yeah. It. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> we did it, bro. <laughs> no way. That's amazing, bro. The fall is extremely long. You can do whatever you want while you <laughs> while you're falling. <laughs> now I'll do it. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna take the risk, come on. And say goodbye, bad boy. Ah, oh, amazing, bro. <laughs> what a build. What a build. <laughs> come on, Mitra, you have been a bad boy. Check this. Good. This attack should be powerful. <laughs> Not that much, but it's okay. <sighs> Jesus, man. To go, baby. Come on. Oh, careful there. I'm gonna go with the jump attack here. That's good. That's good. That's some good stance damage to start. Oh, 
He might go down here. So be prepared. Melt him, melt him, melt him, melt him. Come on. Come on, baby. Melt this guy, melt this guy. Now get close to him. Careful! No! Oh my god. Oh. Ah, let's go. Do I have to heal? Come on, quickly. Quickly, bad boy. It's all good, it's all good. I have enough time. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, the damage on this guy is more than decent, buddy. Come on. Give me one, give me one. Oh, let's go. Beautiful. Give me one here. Oh. It's immune to my damage at that point. Come on. Give me one. Oh, nice. First try. <laughs> let's go.